to identify this piece of equipment? This looks like an uh, intra-arterial direct um, arterial blood pressure monitoring system. And could you please check this piece of equipment for me? So from um, the pressure bag end down to the patient end, this is a standard pressure bag um, for a 500 mil um, bag of fluid. Um, it has uh, normal saline in, which is in date and is clear and looks like it's intact. Um, following it down, um, the pressure indicator indicates that it's, it's adequately pressurized. Um, the chamber um, is adequately filled to um, a third, between a third and a half. Um, the stop roll is open following the tubing down um, to the pressure transducer. There are no um, air bubbles, the tubing is intact and it follows all the way down to the pressure transducer itself which is off to air, open to patient. Following the tubing down which is stiff non-compliant arterial line tubing, again there are no air, air bubbles or kinks, um, following it all the way down to the 20 gauge arterial cannula. Um, which is switched on. Clearly um, an abnormality in this is it's not attached to a patient, um, however if it were and it was sterile I would be happy to use this system. Okay, so that was a correctly set up arterial line. This is more of an arterial line you would expect to get in your exam. Could you please examine this arterial line? Okay, so from the um, bag end down to the patient end, this clearly is a 20% glucose bag um, which is incorrect for this setup. Um, the bag itself is not pressurized um, which would give inaccurate readings. It is turned off at the stop cock um, which clearly would hamper readings as well. Following the line down um, the tubing is, is, is okay down to the transducer however there are multiple three-way taps which would interfere and, and they're obviously turned off as well which would, which would give you no reading at all. Um, they're also loose, um, which would interfere with the reading as well. Um, it's, it is off to air, open to patient, which is the correct indicator for that um, three-way tap. There are, however, multiple bubbles following it down to the patient end, um, which would cause inaccuracies with the reading. The tubing is the incorrect tubing as well. It is soft, compliant tubing it's used traditionally in a blood giving set or an extension set. Following it down to the cannula itself, we can see that this is a, a cannula for intravenous use, um, specifically a 16 gauge intravenous cannula. Another abnormality is that there is no patient attached to the cannula itself. So you mentioned the IV cannula here is unsuitable. What else is wrong with it? So it's IV, uh, as I said. Um, it's an incorrect gauge. This is a 16 gauge cannula. Um, as opposed to a 20 gauge arterial cannula. Um, because it's for intravenous use it has a tapered end and the compliance of the material is different to that for an arterial setup. In addition it has a top injection port which an arterial cannula would not have. What must you do before sighting an arterial line in a radial artery? I'd like to check that there is a collapsal circulation from the on the side. And what test is this called? That's called Allen's test. Earlier you mentioned the glucose in the infusion bag mm -hmm. is inappropriate. Why is this? I can think of a couple of reasons why it's uh, incorrect. One, um, glucose is an irritant to vessels, so it wouldn't be very good in an artery. But also, arterial lines are commonly used for checking blood glucose, so um, it would give uh, grossly ina inaccurate results when checking. You mentioned the tubing on this arterial giving set is inappropriate as it's wide, soft and compliant. How will this affect the blood pressure trace and value as a result? The soft compliant tubing will cause over dampening of the arterial trace as waveform energy is absorbed by the compliant tubing. In terms of values of the pressure recorded, um, this will give you an underestimation of systolic pressure, an overestimation of diastolic pressure, however mean arterial pressure will be relatively unaffected. So here's a diagram of three arterial traces. Which of these is the normal trace? In these three pictures here, um, A is a, a normal arterial waveform trace. And which of these traces is overdamped? Overdamped trace would be trace B. What could be the cause of trace C? 
Trace C is an underdamped trace and it could be caused by overly stiff tubing or a non-compliant diaphragm in the pressure transducer. What information can be obtained from the arterial trace? You can obtain heart rate, pressures, i.e. systolic pressure, diastolic pressure, mean arterial pressure and pulse pressure. You can get an idea of rhythm as well from an arterial trace. The upstroke of the arterial waveform gives you an indication of myocardial contraction or contractility. The downslope is an indicator of vascular resistance. The position of the diacrotic notch gives you an indication of filling along with the swing in the arterial waveform trace. The area under the curve also is an indicator of stroke volume. Um, how would you perform zero calibration of the transducer? I would first check that the transducer is pr correctly pressurised at the, at the flush end, um, which it is, it's to 300 millimetres of mercury. Follow it down to the pressure transducer. I would then um, turn this stopcock off to patient, open to air. Um, press zero on my electronic monitoring system. Wait for the zero to be completed. And when it is, turn it off from air and open it back up to patient. How would you perform a higher pressure calibration? To perform a higher pressure calibration, again, I would ensure that my uh, bag is correctly pressurised, then come down to the three-way tap um, distal to the transducer, and instead of opening it to air, I would look to connect a manometer to the air port, set the manometer to a standardised reading, for example 100 millimetres of mercury or 200 millimetres of mercury, turn it off to the patient, open to the manometer, press zero on the electronic system and that would be calibrating to a higher set known pressure. If two or more pressures, if two pressures were used, this would be an example of two point calibration.